Hello guys, welcome back. It is episode 42. Uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I, yeah, just continuing doing this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I ask, like, what am I doing? Yeah, but it's like, you know, I, I, it doesn't matter what I do in the game, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, I wish it mattered more, but, you know. Yeah, uh, the last time I was, like, clearing this out, so I guess I might do do more of that, but, you know, I just get distracted so easily. Yeah, just get rid of just all of the excess stuff here. Uh, there's arrows here. I, I want those arrows? Yeah. Yeah, ooh, I could repair the bow. Yeah, like, like, I could take this, like, almost broken bow and repair it? I could do that, right? Wait. Do I, wait, how do I, how do you, oh, you just, like, click it over, I think, right? Yeah, you click that. There you go. This shovel is basically broken. This pig, yeah, I have three of these things that are just basically just broken. They have nothing. Maybe. That could be a new thing I could do, is just look for diamonds, so. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> any, any, anything new happening? Uh, <laughs> not, yeah, not, not much, man. <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah, that just broke. There, that broke. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking, yeah. Like, you know how just Twitter, you know? <laughs> Twitter, and it's... Oh, how, what am I going to do about this if I just clear this out? Yeah, that's also a thing I didn't really think about. Yeah. I think I'll... Maybe I'll make it so that, like, there's, like, a door, and then I, like, build, like, a path to there. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, anyways, you know how Twitter is a thing? And last time, you know, uh, yeah. There's some yeah, issue with the video. It took a while to, like, you know, process. <laughs> After I made, like, an edit, you know, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But, uh, yeah, last time I talked about, like, tropes and stuff and, uh, romance. <laughs> For, like, the second half. Yeah, the first half I talked about, I talked about Jeanette McCurdy's thing. Yeah, again, do I want to, like, uh, add anything or revise anything from there? Was I saying anything, like, a bit, you know? I don't, I don't think so, yeah. Yeah, I support, yeah, yeah. I mean, is it, a, is it, like, a thing that I have to say that I support? That, yeah, that's good that Jeanette McCurdy's doing this and, like, you know, sharing her story? Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Yeah. I guess, like, I made it, like, a whole, I, you know, my, uh, and a point I made from it was about, like, Gen Z, you know, but I think it's more about, uh, I mean, I think there are, are, are also, like, millennials, too, right, who, you know, I think it's, maybe it's also just, like, general people who, I don't know, know about those Nickelodeon shows, who, who might have not, like, not grown up with it, I mean, I don't know, I, I mean, you know, the audience for her memoir could, is, like, probably more diverse than, like, what I was saying of just, like, it's only, you know, Gen Z people yeah, who grew up with watching uh, Nick live action shows like me. So, you know, uh, but yeah, I guess I do. I support it. I, I really like that she put out a book. Yeah, I like memoirs in general. I like me interesting memoirs, you know? Yeah, and obviously she has a very interesting story. So, you know, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, just me rehashing things. What else? What, what else? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> my god, dude, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was made aware of another freaking big, like, book drama thing, but should I even talk about it, man? I don't know, man, I don't know, I don't know, I've, I've been larking, you know, I've been, <laughs> wait, I think, yeah, I've been, I've been larking, you know, you know, a bit, a bit light, a bit, a bit light on that, but, you know, I don't know. Oh man, it's a, it's a whole thing. Who even? It's it, it's yeah. What's what's the point, man? It's interesting because I uh god dang, I can't link the video again. I don't know. It's weird because like videos show up on my recommended feed, but I but uh I don't know. I <laughs> I guess I I guess I just don't I, do, I yeah, they, uh I don't have them on my history because I just watch on incognito tabs, I guess, because I don't know. Yeah, why I watch on incognito tabs on YouTube mostly is because I, I don't know. I guess I generally don't want my, like, 
uh, certain way in my history to be clogged up, you know? I don't want, you know, I don't know, of just, like, literally everything I watch, right? I don't know. I guess it's, like, I don't want to mess with the algorithm. I, I don't want to mess up the algorithm further than I already have, basically, is my reasoning for it. But, you know, I guess that's a weird bit of reasoning. <laughs> so, like, you know, but I did see a video that came up on my recommended feed that talked about the book of controversy that <laughs> I'm referencing, you know, yeah, we even, we even, yeah, it's, yeah, I talked about another book, there's so many books that cause controversy, man, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man, I, I don't know, man, maybe I should stop talking about this and talk about something different, yeah, should I just give, like, a, a little, yeah, just make it short, you know, just make it short, you know, there's, you know, I guess, I guess, <laughs> explaining a situation, there's a book called, uh, Light Lark, and uh, it was marketed using tropes heavily, you know, uh, you know, uh, it, it was made, it was, it specifically came to be from, uh, TikTok because there, there was this, like, woman, uh, who, uh, advertised it, uh, I think, like, maybe made a TikTok that was, like, yeah, that, uh, the text was something like, do you want a book with insert, you know, these tropes here, and then, yeah, she somehow got a six-figure book deal from it, and then reviews are coming out for the book now. I don't think it's officially released. It might be, but, you know, if you check on Goodreads, there's, you know, loads of negative reviews. Uh, pe a lot of people don't like it, and, you know, it's causing up a whole stir. People are talking about it. People are, you know, some people are even freaking, like, I don't know. <laughs> uh what like targeting her spe specifically as the author uh the person who wrote it it's like i don't know <laughs> it's a whole thing well why why do i want to talk about this i guess i guess it's like <laughs> if you watch these true maybe you should know by now that i'm i'm interested in like you know books but you know you know it's fine I don't know, I don't know, it, it's, <laughs> again, oh god, I have to be wary of just what I say, it's not, I don't know, I guess, I, I, I think it's just because I think too much, man, I don't know, like, I just overthink things, I know, but, like, I said it in a tweet, Trey, I said it in a tweet, <laughs> I sent out, I'm like, a lot of these people are, like, YA fantasy readers, right, a lot of these, yeah, a lot of the, yeah, like, yeah, I said, like, why, <laughs> you know, one of the, the negative reviews are mostly from, like, people who are experienced and versed in, like, YA fantasy, or, like, just fantasy in general, you know, and it's, like, you know, they, they, they don't like the writing, but, and, like, one review called the writing, like, uh, middle grade, you know, equating it to, yeah, it reads, like, middle grade, and, you know, the prose was juvenile, and I'm like, come on now, let, let's leave middle grade books out of this, please, let, let, please. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, we can read Mercy Suarez, man, it's fun, it's more fun than writing a negative review. It's more, it, it's more fun than reading another, uh, an overhyped fantasy book, you know. Yeah, and that's the whole, uh, yeah, and another thing is that, like, I just find it weird that people are, just, yeah, it's like, it's a, it's surprising, it's surprising that, you know, and uh, a book that was, like, overhyped turned out to not be good, it's like, okay, sure, I guess, like, not, like, hyped, I don't know, I don't think it's, like, hyped, but, like, you know, a book that came to be specifically because of, a, the, the, you know, there, a book that had a six-figure deal behind it, right, and turned out to be not good, like, a book that got picked up because of a TikTok turned out to not be good, it's like, okay, Okay, is this, this is news? Yeah, I mean the news is that like, wow, TikTok is has a lot of influence over books nowadays. But it's like, I don't know. Yeah, and that's another thing I pointed out. Like, is like, you know, uh, is there a way to like not have TikTok be such a big influence on, you know, books, the books that are popular? You know? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, is is that all I needed to say on that? Yeah, I don't want it, it to take up too much time, <laughs> so I guess we'll just leave it at that, yeah. <sighs> That's <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, I just don't don't feel the need to say more. Anyways, what's, what else has been a, a ting in, on my mind? Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know, I guess. I guess people just watch these for, I don't know, just me running around, <laughs> yeah, which is weird, you know? I guess. I guess I might just, you know, maybe just go back to the old olden days. <laughs> if you've seen them, yeah. And, like, <laughs> just play the game mostly. 
I wanted, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess I just dig this out. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just take a break. Let me just take a break from finding stuff to talk about and just, like, you know, just play this for a bit. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Yeah, the cursor just moves at, like, the exact right pace for me. Look at that. Oh, I need a new pickaxe. Yeah. Stone pickaxe? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I just dig this out. Yeah. A shovel. A shovel. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a good thing that, like, I had the topics come to me naturally back then. I don't know. I think it's just, yeah, I think part of it is that, like, I spoke differently, you know? I spoke differently, I spoke a lot less frequently, yeah, and I had a lot of empty space between, uh, you know, sentences. But I guess since I've, I'm not, I don't really do that anymore, and I prioritize just, like, you know, filling the, the space with words over everything, uh, man, yeah, that's good, you know? Yeah, yeah, my inspiration is like, <laughs> one of my inspirations <laughs> is SSOHPKC, yeah, I keep on saying that. It really, he really is, you know, the way he just, like, commentates, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just being, like, you know, casual and chill, but, like, also, you know, being able to quickly, like, make jokes about whatever game he's playing, be able to be, be witty, you know. I won't be, I won't ever match up to that, but, you know. I could try. <laughs> I don't really try to be him, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, what am I even gonna plan to do with this? Yeah, just like, yeah, I guess like replace, yeah, replace all the stone with dirt. And then, maybe, yeah, I guess like just make, yeah, just make this an extension of the, the house already. It'd be cool if I could like get to that from like the bottom of here. That'd be kind of cool. Even though I would mostly use, you know, that staircase already. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> the end of August and anything. <laughs> True, anything happening in... Oh, yeah, what? what? I just saw a boxing match. Yeah, well, I saw the results of a boxing match. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, Anthony Joshua, man. Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder could fight now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, again, should I try to explain it really fast? <laughs> uh, Anthony Joshua is a boxer, he was like the heavyweight champion for a while, and then he lost the belt in 2019, he, he, he had like four belts, I think, of like the six, yeah, uh, and then he lost, <laughs> he got knocked out by this guy called Andy Ruiz in 2019, and then he won in a rematch in Saudi Arabia against Andy Ruiz at the end of 2019, and then he fought, who did he fight afterwards? He fought like Pulev, I think, in 2021. And then he fought, uh, yeah, and then he fought Usyk and then he lost the belts again to Usyk. And then just, you know, to, as of today, as, of, as I'm recording this, he fought Usyk again and then he lost again. And, you know, I guess the interesting thing I glommed onto it is that, yeah, wow, <laughs> Anthony Josh was taking it a bit hard, which I don't know, I don't know, yeah, like, I saw him, like, tear up and, like, actually, like, you know, break down in tears during the press conference, like, his post-fight press conference, and I'm like, yeah, I feel like we should have more of this, you know? Like, I mean, I don't know, more vulnerability is basically, you know? Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I don't know, I feel like, you know, why, you know, why, like, why are, why, why are you, I don't know. Yeah, like, like, why, why do we make fun of, like, athletes in general for just showing too much emotion, you know? Whether it be, like, winning a play-in game or, like, you know, I don't know, losing a fight. It's, like, because, like, I don't know. To me, like, losing a boxing match, you know? A tang where you have to freaking get repeatedly freaking beaten up, you know? I mean, yeah, that's kind of emotional. Yeah, it's kind of, like, boxing is a freaking... I really feel like boxing is the most emotional sport, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, fighting in general, but, you know, uh, boxing is the best form of that to me. So, yeah, like, it's... I don't know. <laughs> There's just something about it that's so, you know, emotional, you know? Yeah, and, like, you know, the stakes, right? Yeah, and I guess, like, you know, from seeing that, it probably makes me think that, like, Anthony Joshua really wanted to win that fight. He really cared about, you know, winning. <laughs> and, yeah, he's really upset that he lost. And it's like, you know, I have like I like that he is finally starting to show, like, emotion. And, you know, yeah, he's not, yeah, because 
I I felt for the longest time that there was just something off about him, like not you know like something off about him in terms of like he just acts acts too perfectly. He just acts too perfect. Like uh, you know I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, like, why can't he just, you know, sh you know, uh, show more emotion, like, what, how he did, you know? Yeah, like, <laughs> obviously. I guess, like, you know, it's, yeah, again, yeah, I've been thinking about it. It's weird trying to armchair psychologist, but it's like, I don't know. I think it's pretty fair to, like, you know, assume that, like, you know, uh, uh, he showed more emotion uh, after this fight because he really cared about winning more than anything else right he really wanted to win you know and he was upset that he lost yeah it's cool you know yeah <laughs> i don't know I, yeah, I guess i don't know what's the greater point to this i don't know we shouldn't like clown <laughs> athletes for showing emotion yeah yeah pretty much athletes of any sort for like showing too much emotion <laughs> yeah you know, <laughs> you know, and sometimes it's funny, you know, you know, like in the cheer documentary, <laughs> sometimes it's funny, man, sometimes, man. dude, when, like, in season two, when they, like, yeah, like, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, I talked about the cheer documentary in episode 24, I think, no, 25, I talked about it in episode 25, right, it's like, the, the moment in that, in season two of that cheer documentary, when they're like, like, <laughs> there's a moment, uh, maybe I could do it again, yeah, I'll get claimed, but it's like, uh, yeah, I could show it, it's like, like, the, the dad of one of the freaking, uh, uh, the dad of one of the freaking <laughs> cheerleaders is like being like, uh, the, the numbers, if we do the math right, uh, 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 we got, we actually got, we can only, we get, we can get this score from this routine that we did because, uh, uh, the penalty is minus, uh, whatever, however many for, uh, landing wrong or something or like someone not having a perfect landing, uh, in, in this routine and it's like <laughs> he's just, just trying so hard they're just so freaking nervous and then you know the whole yeah trinity valley the underdogs basically they're just like <laughs> you know he, like you knew it was just like yeah they wanted to freaking like be like okay all right how can we make how can we show how can we freaking create this how do we how do we make it so that you know, Navarro losing is, like, the most, just, like, how do we make it the most dramatic thing possible? How do we, how do we make, uh, how do we make Trinity Valley winning, uh, the cheer competition in Daytona the most satisfying thing possible? Yeah, basically. That's how I felt watching it. It was, it was pretty satisfying, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they did, they did the exact same thing, uh, Trinity Valley did. Uh, that Navarro did last season of like running into the beach or something, yeah. So just in the they do it all in slow motion, you know, with the trophy or something. Oh man, yeah, people should go watch that cheer documentary. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, <laughs> I rag on it for you know how uncomfortable some of the scenes are, but it's like you know, like it's it's fun, it's fun to watch, man. <laughs> Maybe the, some aspects of it aren't fun, but uh, you know, that part in particular was pretty damn fun to watch. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, what am I... I guess. Just build this out. Uh, yeah. Any video games? Any any video games? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What video games I'm, am I even excited for? <laughs> I'm not gonna buy video games, man. Yeah, Starfield? Oh, yeah. I didn't talk about Starfield. Yeah, Bethesda's new game. Uh, it looks cool, uh, you know, I just think it's just gonna be a generally good game, I don't know, yeah, with the way Bethesda's been, it's like Fallout 76 obviously was a, you know, I think it was a failure, to be honest, right, in terms of PR, yeah, the whole canvas bag thing, the whole, like, the disaster of a launch, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Starfield, you know, will probably, like, do a lot to help Bethesda's reputation, because it's looking like, you know, Bethesda just being like, we're going to make a really good single-player RPG. Yes, a, a really good single-player RPG, and that's it, right? That's, like, sci-fi themed instead of, you know, fantasy. Yeah, and, you know, I don't know. I guess I'll be excited to play that, but I don't know. <laughs> 
Again, I'm not excited about freaking <laughs> video games anymore. <laughs> it's all about freaking book Twitter drama for me. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> if there if there's an Emily is away for, I'm gonna freaking play that the first time thing I see it, man. Oh man. Uh Oh yeah, I I tell yeah. If any yeah, if anybody is wa if anybody's watching my channel right now, like I I have like 73 subscribers now. Not to brag or anything. Not to not to brag or anything. But I have 73 subscribers right now. So <laughs> if you wanna if you're tired of <laughs> just me running around in Minecraft and want to see something else, something kind of funny, like I think Emily is away tree is actually one of the best like. Yeah, like non Minecraft vid sets of videos I've ever done. You know, I loved it. I love I love playing Emily as a way tree. Just like the stuff I talk about, you know, <laughs> me talking about indie music. Like especially like the last episode. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend that series, you know. Yeah, it's just a bit farther back. Yeah, if you just like scroll down enough, you know, if you're you know, watching, you can just check the channel out. Yeah, you'll find it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I recommend that uh, you you play Emily is Away Tree too. Yeah, because it's a cool game. Yeah, and Emily is Away too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think Tree is probably the peak. I haven't played the first one, but you know, just yeah, <laughs> it's a game about the internet in in freaking the <laughs> late two thousands and you know, online relationships. It's all it's all it's all just the, f the fun. It's all fun, you know. It's you know, it's it's just really, just really a fun game to play. Yeah, <laughs> I had a, I had a lot of fun freaking playing it. Uh, yeah. Any other games? There's yeah, there's a Saints Row reboot. <laughs> I'd be interested in playing that. Yeah, I play. Yeah, I really like Saints Row. Yeah, Saints Row two and four especially. Yeah. Hmm. It'd be it'd be cool. Oh yeah, GTA 6 is gonna add a female protagonist, a female playable character as a protagonist for the first time. You know? <laughs> oh man, that's such a throwback. Yeah, remember? Well, remember when I was doing the whole like, wow, <laughs> when I, when, I, when I was like commenting on like people don't people don't like something because it's woke. It's like wow. When was the last time I had a topic like that? I guess, like, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I guess the turning red stuff, but it's like, I don't know, specifically for video games. One of the, yeah, like, in the early episodes of this series, I talked about The Last of Us 2, and like, you know, you know, if you know the controversy, like, a Abby is a character in that, in that, and like, you know, she's a muscly, she's a muscly woman, and, and some fans at the time didn't like that. They, they they did not like how Abby was just you know a muscly woman and how it was a sign of like forced diversity or just like a sign of like some you know the creator of the game Neil Druckmann being like a liberal uh, an SJW you know I don't know some some somehow I'm very, I'm boiling it down but it's like that was basically the thing yeah and I was like <laughs> I guess maybe I was incorrectly being like they don't like it because Abby's in it but I don't know. It really seems like there there was a large, you know, portion of the last of people in like back in 2020 who were just very anti The Last of Us 2 because of, you know, Abby and then like some other some other superfluous reasons. I don't know, something. I don't know, man. I guess there are criticisms of the game that don't involve uh, uh weird reasons like that, but you know. <laughs> wow, just that's a throwback, man. <laughs> Yeah, do not watch that episode, by the way. <laughs> the, yeah, I think that's like episode three. Yeah. Yeah, oh god. Not not good. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Should I talk about the meaning of life since this is episode 42? Oh man. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Do you, does anyone remember Brain Pop? Does anyone remember brain pop you know oh man the the mysteries of life with tim and moby oh my god dude i think brain pop is still a thing i remember recently there yeah the most recent thing i saw was that like there was a fox news segment that like took that like took a screenshot of like a brain pop video uh, where they were talking about pronouns and like one of them was like there are some people who are who uh prefer to be called they them you know and the pronouns are they them and it's like 
Huh. <laughs> and then, then they just bring in, I don't know, the, the, you know, you know, Fox News, the way they do things. Interesting, you know? I don't know. Tim and Moby, if you, yeah, should I explain it? Yeah, Moby's an orange robot who beeps. And then Tim is just some teenager with a white shirt, you know, and jeans. And then they just talk about, they just explain things in like a few minutes, you know? They would get a letter and it's like, Dear Tim and Moby, how does electricity work? Or like, Dear Tim and Moby, who was Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, like, Dear Tim and Moby, how does the American political system work? And, you know, why uh, does Joe Manchin have to uh, ruin everything alongside Chris Kirsten Cinema in terms of getting more progressive uh, policies done in the Senate because, you know, of things and like why did the inflation reduction act have to be you know it you know it's cool that it passed but like why couldn't it have like bigger more progressive uh you know things you know why couldn't it have more stuff to fight climate change and why couldn't you know you know just stuff like that you know <laughs> just you know just stuff like that you know oh man uh, cool yeah tim and moby man oh god yeah, Moby is also the name of, like, some electronic musician. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, he's, he's a bald uh, vegan who's very, very uh, left-leaning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people find him annoying. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah. Anything I'm watching, you know? Just, just, I don't know. Yeah. I still haven't finished, haven't finished Love, Victor, by the way. Yeah. I'll watch like the last two episodes. Yeah. Ah, uh, I haven't finished it. But, you know. Oh, yeah, Never Have I Ever Season 3. I you know. I talked about it before. Yeah, I talked about that in episode 26 in terms of like teen shows. You know, it's pretty good. It's good, you know? Yeah, I mean, watching the, epi watching the first episode again, it's like, you know, you know, yeah, again, rehashing. Yeah, again. I'm still rehashing things. But it's like. You know, the, like the way the jokes are written are very obviously like adults, uh, adults writing jokes for teens to say. But it's like I don't know. I feel like it's a generally good show. You know, it's not. I don't think it's specifically like this is a show about teenagers. But you know, it's a just, it's a good show nonetheless. You know, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice to have in more a lot of Indian representation. You know, I read when Dimple met Rishi. You know, yeah, and that series mismatched. Yeah. Which is, you know, somewhat, yeah, it, it is based on it, yeah. Yeah, I heard that was also getting, like, another season, I don't know. I wonder when that's gonna come out. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for friggin' season season two of Fate the Wink Saga, and I'm waiting for season two of Shadow and Bone, so, you know. Uh, just, yeah, please, give me, give me the fantasy series that are actually good. <laughs> oh, man, please, yeah. Yeah, what 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 did I have in my mind earlier? It's it's it just that just that like all like like I'm not crazy, right? I'm not I'm not crazy for saying that like a lot of these like I don't know quote controversies, you know, these things that blow up and become like uh, viral uh, things like uh, like almost always happen in the fantasy space if they're in YA, and it's like oh man, I don't know. Like, YA fantasy is just filled with just, you know, there was just, there's just, you know, a lot of just, like, things, man. I don't know. It just makes me think, like, I'm glad I don't uh, want to write fantasy. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I do not want to write YA fantasy, you know? Yeah, because I would never, like, write a whole, like, you know, a YA fantasy that takes place in, like, another world, I don't think. I don't know. I think, you know, I would write a story with a magical element in it, but, you know, a magical, like speculative element in it you know like adam silvera does with like more happy than not and uh uh yeah they both they both die at the end but like i don't know that's just never been really a thing that interests me yeah if anything i'm more interested in reading like middle grade fantasies i don't know you know <laughs> harry potter and uh, i mean i mean not, not that but you know you know which is like you know there's a book called like witchlings you know you know that i'm interested in in reading yeah, there's a book called, like, was it, like, Zachary, Zachary Ying and, like, the dragon, uh, you know, the warrior, something like that. I don't know. Th those seem really interesting, yeah. Like, more, like, middle-grade fantasies with, like, people of color, you know? Yeah, really cool that I might want to read, you know? Yeah, there's also, like, <laughs> uh, drama about, like, yeah, drama. I hate saying it's not drama. There's an actual thing that, like, you know, 
Barnes and Noble is like, uh, you know, they they're, they're gonna they're uh, enacting a thing where they're only gonna like shelve like the top books uh, from. You know, they're only gonna shelve like top books that they know are like popular, which means basically means that like mid list authors, you know, authors who aren't the best sellers authors who aren't like the big money makers and like sell thousands upon thousands of copies you know and like don't get on the bestseller lists and like yeah like and debut authors who you know <laughs> uh like are not in that space you know who are not in that category you know it, you know it's gonna harm them but yeah i guess that's another thing <laughs> i guess i guess my yeah i'm just mentioning all these things yeah, I don't know. I just, I guess I just want to have, like, a wide range of just, like, stuff I talk about. Uh, uh, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what am I gonna... <laughs> oh, yeah. Do I? Ah, God, here's a throwback. I don't talk about freaking. uh, you know, my, yeah, I don't talk about school, you know, that often for me, because, yeah, yeah, I am still in school, but, you know, I found out recently that I got to be in a class, you know, I took over the summer, and I'm like, yep, yep, <laughs> oh, man, I was so happy with that, I had to write, I had to write an essay, not really an essay, just like a report, basically, it had to be like two to three pages, you know, but it's like, I don't know, I guess, it's, it's weird, yeah, I guess that's, oh, that's another topic I, t uh, uh, you know, I could talk about. My relationship with, like, writing anything that isn't fiction, you know? Because, I don't know, not a, you know, because, like, I mostly see, like, the, the I mostly, yeah, like, I want to write fiction, right? Yeah. It's, like, why, you know, I don't really uh, do blog posts anymore because, you know, I guess I just prioritize writing fiction over anything, you know, like writing my a uh, novel and stuff and, and short stories but it's like I don't know I think like as a result of that like my I feel like my confidence in my ability to like write essays and stuff like write anything that isn't fiction has just gone down a lot I don't know I think I'm you know I was I always had good grades in English in like high school and stuff but it's like I don't know it's like yeah, I don't, like, now I'm like, did, uh, like, is it good? Is it good enough? You know? I don't know. Yeah, it's just a case, another case of, like, me overjudging, you know? <laughs> Overthinking things, you know? Yeah. Uh, in my first English class I took in yeah, college, I got a B, yeah. I got a B because I, like, yeah, because part of the class was, like, turning in drafts of essays. And it's, like... Yeah, it very much was designed to be like you should know MLA format, you know. The the te the professor was very like, you know, I know yeah, like I guess a stickler for like your essays being in MLA format. Yeah, you know, you know, MLA format the thing that uh <laughs> the thing that hardens essay uh, uh final essay for that English class and after wasn't written in. Yeah, you know, that <laughs> the thing that, you know, <laughs> yeah. Basically uh, yeah, excuse me, <laughs> anyways, I don't know, I guess, <laughs> have any larger point with that, just that I'm, I don't know, I'm just, like, not as confident in terms of, you know, my really, yeah, my ability to write, like, essays and, like, you know, stuff like that, yeah, it's just because, like, I want, I don't know, if I'm writing, if I'm not writing fiction, like, I want to be able to write, like, really informally, that's why I like tweeting a lot, because, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's just an easy way for me to get thoughts out, you know? And then why I like doing these is because these are, this is a pretty easy way for me to get my thoughts out about something. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess, you know, I am I know, like, if I'm gonna have to, like, write a thesis, you know? I know. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, you know, yeah. Or dissertation if I even want to get a PhD. I don't know. Oh, man. It's gonna be, it's something, man. Oh, God. Yeah, dude, when is this gonna break, man? When is it? Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. Wow, so much stuff. Oh, no, okay, no, okay, all that stuff is here. <laughs> huh. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess at the end of the day, it's good that I passed a class, man. <laughs> I like, I don't know, yeah, I guess I, yeah, uh, early on. Yeah, that was the first episode, yeah. 
yeah <laughs> it might seem that i have a foot yeah i don't know you might think that i have like a, a really good memory but it's like i don't know i guess it's just that i i, I constantly watch back over my videos yeah that have uploaded just weirdly yeah yeah i don't think anyone should do that <laughs> but you know i guess i do uh man yeah i guess <laughs> Yeah, in terms, and in terms of this channel, yeah, I guess. I guess it's been long enough. I could start, you know, uh, <laughs> stop talking about things. I could start winding things down, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it'd be cool to reach 100 subs, man. I don't know. That's only a tenth of, a, a tenth of, like, what you need to get monetized, but, like, I don't know. Like, seriously, just the fact that I have, like, 73 subs, man. A hundred subscribers, man. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I hope. <laughs> and again, yeah, with the, the update with Life is Strange, I'm gonna play it, okay? Oh, man, I'm going to play it, alright? Oh, man, I'm going to. Oh, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, yeah, oh, yeah, and like comments, you know? Yeah. I guess. I guess I kind of want to start doing, like, a normal thing. If people are going to comment more, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I, you know, continue to keep on getting more comments, you know? Yeah. Uh, I would kind of want to do a thing where I ask a prompt, you know? You know? Not ask a prompt, you know, you know. You know, just invite people to comment on things, you know? Yeah, again, I, <laughs> I've said it before. If anyone wants me to, like... If anyone wants me to talk about a specific thing, and, and you know, and if anyone wants to get my thoughts on a thing, I might even do it, man. I don't know. I might even, yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, I've always wanted to, to do, like, a Q&A, you know? If any, yeah, just, you know, just ask a bunch of questions, man. Just ask, I don't know. <laughs> if I, you know, if, if people want to comment, just ask me, uh, like, you know, just any type of question, okay? <laughs> It's not, like, this isn't really a demand. It's just, you know, a cool thing I might want to do. Yeah. And then I'll, yeah, and then I'll, I'll, I'll title the next episode after that then. Just, like, Q&A special or something. <laughs> oh, man. Just build this. Yeah. Yeah, where did this flower come from? Uh, yeah, so, I guess, I guess that's uh, another episode in the books, man. Wow. I've been, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I, I probably will, right? I probably will, re yeah, I want it, I guess, I guess maybe, am I doing it as a goal now to, like, reach episode 50 by the end of the year? Man, dude, 50 episodes, man, seriously. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and that's halfway to 100, seriously, oh, God. 50 episodes, man, 50. Huh, I can't, I can't, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, if anyone has any questions about anything, you can ask about, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just my thoughts on things, you know? Because, <laughs> I don't know, I guess. I record a new one of these when, like, I don't know. I guess it's may maybe it's maybe lately I haven't been going into these with a, a dedicated a spanning topic in mind. Yeah, I keep on uh, mentioning that. You know, maybe I will, like, go back. But I still want to keep these, like, relative semi-frequent, you know? Like, I still, like, I don't know. I kind of, I don't want to be, like, I don't, you know, I guess now that I have, like, somewhat of, like, a base now, like, I kind of, you know, as if, if I can do it, right? As long as I can do it, like, I don't want to leave this channel hanging. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to uh, not upload for, like, you know, months at a time, you know, like I did last year, you know? I just, yeah. I don't know the reason for that. I don't know. It, it was just, like, uh, maybe. I was just enjoying my summer that, last year, but, like, I don't know why it took, like, a four-month, five-month break. Yeah, because I recorded episodes in, like, August. Yeah, maybe it, I think it was when I still had those, like, rendering issues. Yeah, before I discovered to just, like, render on my laptop, I guess. Yeah, probably. I think it was probably when I still had, like, big rendering issues. <laughs> which I do not have uh, now at, at the moment, thank thankfully. So, yeah. I don't want to leave this channel hanging. Like, I'll always, like, you know, have, like, at least, like, a, you know, I guess. Uh, if I were to have a schedule, it would be, like, at least one video every two weeks, you know? Like, I don't want to go more than two weeks without uploading a video, you know? 
I think that's just enough time, you know, but like at its most frequent I could just like upload a video like every Every like few days at the most right? I think so. I don't think it'll be quicker I yeah, like it definitely yeah, like just to scale like it definitely I definitely do not have the capacity to upload daily <laughs> but you know like I think like one upload a month, you know, like CGP Grey does. It's like it's not a thing. So I want to do so. Yeah, I guess it's like a reasonable middle ground would be like, you know, you know. I guess like I'm setting the parameters now. Like I, if I'm really uh, productive and on the ball and want to uh, you uh, uh, post to this channel a lot, it'll be like, you know, like a few like like you know two to three uploads a week. But yeah, if I if I do not, but yeah, yeah, but like at the very minimum, I'll like upload <laughs> like once a week or like once every two weeks or like twice <laughs> a week or something. Yeah, basically, I guess that's like the schedule I kind of want to have. So yeah, yeah, I guess like look out for that. Yeah, I think the next video after this will definitely be Life is Strange. I promise that. I promise that. I've had, I don't know. <laughs> I've had too long a streak of Minecraft. I just have to, yeah, play it. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't really have an excuse now because it's like all new content for me. Yeah. I can play it, man. I should play it. Oh, man. So, anyways, I guess those are the updates. <laughs> those are the channel updates. Yeah, I guess. If, if you were kind enough to just watch through this whole thing. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Yeah. Ask, ask me, ask me most of things. Don't ask me, like, literally anything, but, you know, most things, you know, if I find it interesting. Even if I don't find it interesting, you know, it could be any question. It could be a small question or a big question, but, you know, yeah. I guess that's just basically, yeah, all I have. Am I listening to anything? Cool. Uh, uh, yeah. I listened to this band called uh, The Wonder Years. <laughs> they they have a, they have like a, an album called was it Suburbia? Uh, Suburbia Suburbia. I've given you all I've got or something. Yeah, it's just the most on the nose freaking pop punk music ever. But they're not like warped tour pop punk. They're like. You know, oh god, <laughs> again, there's a difference between pop, you know, I, there's a f basically a functional difference between like pop, pop, between like pop punk and emo in terms of like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's a thing that like, in like the early 2010s, a lot of like, you know, quote, emo bands, as in like, emo in terms of like taking influence from like Midwest emo, and Midwest emo is stuff like, American football and like uh, sunny day real estate I think right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> basically and like in the early 2010s like F Philadelphia is like a place where a bunch of those bands were like you know modern baseball and like yeah I think I think people like lump hop along into that space yeah and like yeah I guess the wonder years are just like people who make pop punk music yeah but like you wouldn't you wouldn't say you wouldn't put them next to like Paramore. You like yeah, which is weird, because it's you know you wouldn't put it next to Taking Back Sunday because I don't know for some reason I don't know because like Taking Back Sundays from New Jersey I don't know it's just weird like it's not like the hot topic emo I I guess that that a lot of people think of it's not that it's not the MGK emo <laughs> so, MGK song emo girl. <laughs> Yeah, they're cool. I guess. What? Uh, what else? Oh god. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Basically, <laughs> what? 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 What was that, man? What? What was that? Yeah, I'm still obsessed with the Foles album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, they're not a new discovery. I started listening to them in 2020, but like. I don't know. Yeah, their second album, Beacon, you know, I've been really enjoying. Yeah, Handshake, Wake Up, and freaking, uh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> obviously, like, next year. I used that in the end of a video, of a Minecraft video once, episode 12, I think. Yeah, and, like, yeah, like, really good first half of that album, man. <laughs> Two-Door Cinema Club, man. My second favorite club band band uh, tree forward band that ends in club because tokyo police club i think 
would take the number one spot and Bombay Bicycle Club would take like the number three spot, you know? Yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways, that I think has uh, been it. Uh, <laughs> I guess KD is staying on the nets. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So anyways. If you made it this far, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to do, like, these YouTuber things, man. I don't know. I'm already starting to do it, you know. Oh, man. Anyways, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, see you next time.